life. If you've been following us now, we are coming on to going into our fifth year and we are so excited. You just watched our 4th of July video last week. So we're really hoping that you had a wonderful holiday and we thought it would be really fun and it is a tradition. So we're going on five years now. There's a few things that stick around here and we thought it would be really fun to show you our five favorite vintage pieces. Now, if you've watched this the last five years, I've pulled completely different pieces. I am thinking Rebecca probably did too. And then maybe next week, we'll show you our favorite top five from spring 24, um, because it's always different at the end of every season versus the first. So we're trying to give you our favorites right before we go into our next season, and we really hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to look at Rebecca really quick and say, are we going to do this one piece at a time, or are we going to just go? Just go. Okay. Okay. I'm going to show you all five of mine and she's going to show you all five of hers. So I dove deep into my closet. So I know that there's a few people out there that have this shirt. In fact, one of my good friends that has a great Instagram page says this is still one of her favorites. So I don't even know the name, but I have worn this little baby down and worn it down. And if you notice the color that Rebecca's wearing, they're the crop from this season, this bright, gorgeous orange is everywhere. So I love, love, love this piece. I still love this piece. I love to front tuck it. Um, it was an amazing piece. And I just, I don't know that I'll be able to get rid of it. Okay. Now I'm showing a lot of green, which is funny because green is not my go-to color, but I have a lot of green favorites. And this is another one that I really, really love. So it's got a three quarter length sleeve. It's got the baby blue from this fall, this spring in it. And just some gorgeous detailing. I love the notch collar. Collars make or break shirts for me. So I really love the details on collars. Speaking of collars, and this is unbuttoned because I just wore it, but I had to pull it out for this. I don't know the name of this, but this is like the best blouse ever. I wear it in place of a denim shirt and I wear it all summer long. It's really, really yummy and comfortable. Now I had to go off of the shirt track for a minute. So I brought one jacket and one dress and the jacket I think is going to be a little unexpected because it's not our traditional ponty knits. It's really not a traditional jacket, but it is our windbreaker. So I don't know if any of you got this, but this little jacket stays in my car all the time. I wear it all the time. I love it. It washes amazingly well. And I just, I love having that little jacket on so I can go running in it. I can take it on a hike. I can take it just anywhere. Utah weather is a little bit bipolar. So, you know, it's nice to have a jacket on a cold, windy day. And then I dove as deep into my closet as I could for this dress. So it is, if you, you guys know me by now, you know I love our pinks and purple hues. This dress is probably one of my absolute favorite pieces. It is so old that it's like our very old, old branding. I think this dress is from like, 2007, 2006-ish. Um, it's a faux wrap, but I still wear this. This dress has held up. There's one or two others from that kind of time frame that are built like this. I wish they would bring this design back, the silhouette, everything. I love this dress. So part of the reason I still work out is so that I can still wear my vintage pieces and some of them it's a little hard to get into, but that is one that gives a little around the waist. <laughs> Menopause stuff is not as friendly as it used to be, but these are the five that I dove into my closet and pulled. They stay up front in my closet. They continue to be worn. I am not sick of them at all and I love them so much. All right, Rebecca, I cannot well, wait I to love see these what ones going back into our closets and pulling out our favorites. So I am just too stinking excited. All right. First of all, I've got several that I can't remember the names of, and this is one of them. This is that beautiful little um, 
cardigan sweater that is like a limey just luscious limey goodness right here it might be the chanel cardigan i'm not sure but got the fun little detailing on the back just love this sweater and i think it looks fantastic with all of the colors for spring and summer and then going right into fall so that's my first one then i could not leave this little bomber jacket in the closet so this bomber is the bomb when it comes to fall dressing because it's lightweight. I just love the little motorcycle vibe. It's got just a little bit of an edgy vibe um, crossed with a lumberjack vibe, which I think is so darn fun. And it's absolutely one of my favorites. Okay, this one I do know the name of and I wear it as a little shacket to the barn, to run errands, to sit on the patio and enjoy a hot tea in the morning. I absolutely love this piece. This is the tavern shirt and um, yeah, it's just perfection in my book. So got this fantastic kind of a lavender wash to the denim, which I think is so fun and unique. All right. If you've been around a while, you know how I feel about yellow. And I think that the design team may have created this shirt, especially for me, because I absolutely love it. This is our sunbeam cami. I mean, it's just so bright and happy and wonderful. Can you get any more fun than this? I love it. So there's the sunbeam cami. And then another blazer I can't remember the name of, but it's just too good. This cornflower blue and navy. I mean, it's like perfection. It goes with everything and I love it. So there's my top five. I am certain that we'll be coming with some more favorites from um, years gone by in the future, but stay tuned to next week when we drop our top five from spring 24. I think we did a little precursor to this way back when we started spring and we said our out of the box favorites. So if you missed it, you might want to review that and then you can hold us to account to see if we stayed with those or if we have brand new ones. I'm guessing we probably have brand new ones, but who knows? You never can tell with us girls. Okay. Thank you for being with us this week again. We can't wait to see you next week. Until then, stay stylish. Bye.